Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer, and I'm here in Fort Worth, Texas at the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. Thanks for watching. I'm here in Louisiana right now on my way to Texas to exhibit at the Main Street Arts Festival in Fort Worth. This is going to be my first of two Texas art shows this spring. I was supposed to exhibit at the Bayou City Art Festival in Houston last week, but after my last show in Naples I was feeling really run down as I mentioned in my last video, and I started to not feel well so I made the hard decision to cancel that show. I really hate canceling a show and I've only had to do it a couple of times over the last 15 years, but I really didn't feel well enough to make the long drive out for the show. And thankfully, I'm feeling much better now and having the time off allowed me to build up some stock for the show this weekend in Fort Worth. Fort Worth Arts Festival takes place over four days and the hours are pretty long. Artists open at 10 a.m. and are allowed to close at 8 p.m. even though the festival has entertainment until 11. The long hours can be exhausting so I do my best to prepare as best I can to have a great show. The hotel I'm staying in has a kitchen so I cooked a big pot of pasta and vegetables to bring down to the show each day in addition to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, fresh fruit and water. Making sure that I'm well fed and rested helps me to keep a positive attitude every day and avoid becoming that giant grump that I can be sometimes. Now let's take some time to meet one of my favorite artists who's here in Fort Worth this weekend. All right, I'm here with my friend and fellow artist, Jerabai Andrew Jaja. He's an artist from right here in Fort Worth, Texas. So Jerabai, why don't you tell us a little bit about your artwork? All right, thank you very much. Um, I do hyper-realism artworks and I create drawings from my personal experiences. And I also like using different people's faces because I know my personal experiences translates to other people's experiences. On the average, I spend 200 hours creating these works and my goal is to realistically capture these people's emotions and they all have descriptions and I tell the stories of these drawings and most times my, re, uh, my whole creative process is I think of the concept, I photograph with people, models that are willing to create those emotions and I draw from those photographs. Most importantly, I'm telling my story, I'm documenting my life journey and I'm highlighting different aspects and different phases of my life. And the whole series is called Black Metamorphosis, My Melanin Journey. It was inspired by me losing my melanin due to a condition called vitiligo and my whole struggling to acceptance. So I decided to just, you know, document that journey through my art. Okay, Jerabai, thanks so much for sharing with us. Now, Thank I need you. to point out something really important. Jerabai okay. won Best in Show here at the Fort Worth Arts <laughs> Festival for an emerging <laughs> artist, so congratulations, Thank Jerabai. You that's much. really Thank uh, you. Thank you so that's much. a great accolade. Thank um, you. I came to know about Jerabai through uh, social media because he has a really engaging Instagram and TikTok. So yes. I've, when I met him yesterday in person, it was like meeting a celebrity. So um, yeah. I was really uh, happy to meet you in person, finally. I, also, I also was also happy to meet you too, because I found you on um, YouTube, and I really enjoyed your videos. Awesome. Thanks, man. Um, Thank you why don't much. you tell us a little bit about your social media, and do you find that um, having a, a great social media like that translates well into people coming to see you at art festivals? Yes, um, it really translates, m more importantly, if you let them know, and since it's social media, is you know, all, all around the globe, so if I mean, Main Street in Texas, I'll let them know, hey, if you're in Texas, come check me out. And out of the, you know, thousands of people that follow me, you might just see like four to five, hey, I know you from TikTok, or just random people that just say, hey, I've seen that on TikTok before it went viral or something. So yes, it translates, translates very well. Cool, man. Thanks so much for uh, sharing with us this week. Thank I you very really much. appreciate it. I Thank appreciate you. you, sis. Thank you. Thank you.